hi welcome to automation testing dot in in this video we are going to discuss about file upload using auto it in selenium and the topics which we are going to cover is what is auto it why to use auto it download and setup and we will write a sample program to upload a file and first we will see what is an auto it auto it Auto IT is a freeware, basic like scripting language designed for automating the Windows GUI and general scripting. And it uses a combination of simulated keystrokes, mouse movements, and window or control manipulation in order to automate tasks in way to not possible or reliable with other languages like VBScript and some send keys methods of Selenium, something like that. So. Uh, the basically auto it is used to automate window based applications okay and why to use uh, auto it as we know that selenium web driver automates only browsers that is web applications but sometimes we might need to automate window based applications or pop-ups uh, which are comes uh, as part of your automation in the web application and one of the most scenarios we will face in Selenium is file upload functionality. When there is a file upload functionality, we have uh, different kind of uh, scenarios to automate that functionality. But basically, most of the time Selenium cannot uh, you know, uh, handle this kind of functionality. But there is a, another chance we will discuss there. Uh, but for that, we will use uh, some third party tools to automate this type of functionality uh, like uh, one of mostly used some third party tools are auto it and sequely auto it and sequely but in this uh, video we are going to see uh, auto it to uh, automate file upload functionality in selenium now uh, we'll go to one of the sites is demo.automationtesting.in uh, this is the site where you can practice your basic uh, automation here I have a uh, what is a file upload functionality here that I can click on this browse and it will open this kind of pop-up okay uh, if you want to inspect the elements on this web page you can directly inspect what element you want okay see you can highlight everything here like uh, you can even browse functionality okay if you click here it will show that uh, what is the html for that but once you click this one if you want to inspect this one you cannot inspect this window okay you cannot inspect this window this is not a uh, web application this is a windows based pop-up so uh, if you want to um, handle this kind of window selenium cannot so we will use auto it to handle this window then you can achieve that file upload functionality okay uh, here you need to identify this file name and you have to type something in this and click on open okay uh, that kind of functionality can be handled using auto it now we will see uh, that how uh, we can download auto it and you know write the script here okay first uh, we will go to auto it site you just type auto it click on first link this is the official site of auto it auto it script.com there you can find uh, one of the menus called auto it if you hover on this you can find download section you just click on this there you can see one of the option called download auto it you just click on this one it will download the auto it v3 setup and this auto it is used like uh, um, it will give you 
the basic uh, features of auto id and some help kind of information but if you want to write the code you have some separate software called uh, auto id script editor there you can write the script for that we need to download one more software go to auto id editor hover on this you can find here also downloads option you just click on this one there you can find site for auto it 3.exe you have to download this exe also i'll just click on this one also yeah it got downloaded i have downloaded these things on my desktop you see this is auto itv3 first one and this is script editor okay once uh, you have uh, downloaded these things you have to install these two softwares okay you just double click on that and i'm not installing already i installed this one and this one also same thing once you install it will create a folder under your program files called auto it3 now we'll see that uh, there you can see go to program files x86 and you can see here auto it3 if you double click on this one you can find this kind of information and you can find site folder if you double click on this you can find this one in this if you click on this site application this one if you double click on this one it will open the editor for you and this is the sample program we are going to write and uh, one second we'll close this one okay this is the editor where you can write your programs and uh, once you have this one you have one more thing called if you go to the auto it3 folder and you can find here at au3 info underscore x64 this is one more thing if you click this one it will give you the finder tool means it's kind of firebug in our uh, selenium like in the uh, firefox how you find an element using uh, fire uh, what do you say firefox same way you can this finder tool to find the elements okay now we will see how we can uh, find an element on the window based pop up and how to see the properties we will see and here i'll open this one and click on this one now you just click and hold this finder tool and drag to the element where you want i am dragging here to this one you see it is highlighting like black color if you release here it will show the information under this this is the title file upload you can see here file upload here same thing and you can see one of the things are class and instance and you have one ca information called control n n this is edit one means in this entire window you have only one edit box okay you have only one edit box here and if you want to find this open or cancel button if you click and hold and you drag here on the open button you can see the same thing title is called file upload and then the control section here class in button one this is button one and if you inspect this cancel you see button two Th this is a class is button and the instance is two if you have a 10 it will give uh, the number into each and every button uh, depends upon this number you can I it will identify the that button or element on the window okay now we need only two things one is this input uh, and this button i'll type the url of the uh, file which i want to upload here and click open okay now uh, we will uh, write a sample code for that i'll open this one 
here simply you have two methods to achieve this functionality that is you have to focus your control from win, uh, web based application to this pop up window okay for that i will i will write like you have uh, sorry control focus you have control focus it will accept some set of these things what parameters one is title second is text and third one is control id and here the mandatory things are title and the control id you can skip text okay i have title as uh, file upload and comma and i leave blank and the control id control id of uh, that one what is it this one this is edit one okay this is edit one i'll give edit one and you just close this one and we have uh, highlighted means we got, we have switched our focus to that now we need to send the file upload uh, path to uh, that in this edit okay and now control control set text you have to set the text in that edit button same file upload comma text is optional and it is same like uh, one second this is control id right yeah control id the same edit one comma now you have to uh, give the path of the file which one you have to upload okay now i'll take uh, this clean dot this is bat file i'll take the properties clean dot bat here control v clean dot bat okay and now one more thing i have to click on this control open button right this open button i have to drag here this open button and this is button one same file upload okay now con control click and you need to supply the same thing like uh, file upload comma this is optional and you have to mention that is button 1 okay and that's it okay that's it you have to save this one means you have to set the control focus on this uh, edit button or window and you have to set the text for that you have to give the which file you want to upload and you have to click on that open button okay i'll save this one uh, i'll save on the desktop okay same desktop i'll say file upload you see save as type au3 the default will be au3 you just click on save and if you go to uh, here you can see file upload but the extension of this one is dot au3 but it will not be executed by our selenium code means the java code so we need to convert this to executable file then only you can 
execute that file using your selenium code that is java code so for that you just right click on this one you can find compile script okay x64 x86 uh, depends upon your operating system you just use which one you want minus 64 bit i am just saying compile script now it will generate one file called file upload dot exe with the same name but dot exe okay this is executable file from your java code so uh, now we will see that whether it is working fine or not you can directly see like uh, i have browse now just i want to execute this one right i'll double click on this file upload you see that clean that bat got uploaded so you just have to double click on this means you have to execute on this one now we have done manually but we will see how to achieve the same thing from your selenium while writing the selenium code okay now we will write a sample program to achieve the same okay now i'll go to my intellij ide i'll right click on the source new java class i'll say file upload test okay file upload test public static void string args now we will write a sample program mm. web driver driver equal to new firefox driver okay before that i have to set the system property system dot set property uh, web driver dot gecko dot driver now to give the path of my gecko driver public static void main and uh, the path where i have is this one i have to mention this path what replaced with some four slashes i am removing this one now i'll just check that whether it is working or not before that i'll write driver dot get um, i'll take this from this here i'll i'll give directly this one now we will check this one whether it is opening the browser or not it's open the browser and yes it's navigating to the url which we want okay it's working fine now what i'll do i'll go to here i'll inspect this element to click i'll inspect this element to click this one is id have image source okay now i'll go to driver dot find element by dot id and i'll give the id of that dot click okay now i'm clicking now i'll say 
thread dot sleep uh, for 5 seconds that it, if it is taking more than some time to open then it is better to wait now till here normal selenium code and it will launch the browser and it navigate to here and it will click on this one now i want to run my uh, this one what uh, auto it this file upload dot exe file to execute for that we have a provision that in java if you want to execute this kind of you have a class called runtime in from the java dot lang package dot get runtime method dot you have method called execute execute what if you want something you can execute here okay now you have to mention the path where the executable file is then it will identify the path and it will execute that one okay now i'll take this one from here and i'll go to here v and file upload dot exe file okay uh, this is the new line in this till here we know all these things but here runtime dot get runtime dot exec executable then you have to mention which file you have to execute i am giving file upload dot exe so till here selenium will take care it will open the browser from here auto it, it will run the auto it script and it will upload the file now we will see whether it is working fine or not i'll right click run it launched the browser it open it wait for 5 seconds yeah you see that clean that bad get uploaded this way you can like uh, this is the new line right runtime dot get runtime dot exe the path of your exe file okay this way you can upload the file using auto it and uh, for better practice you can create a folder here itself and you can place your exe file here and you can give the path of that if you copy paste the same workspace into some other machine also it will not fail and one more thing here we need to observe one thing like uh, uh, i'll close this one here if you click on this one you click on this one it opened a pop up and it is called file upload okay pop up called file upload but if you go to the same thing if you go to the same thing in chrome if you go to the same thing in chrome in chrome if you click here there you find browse uh, browse button here you can find choose file but the id will not change it will open it will click on that one so id is image source it, it, there is no problem it will click on that the button name is different also but once it is open you can find this is open this is not file upload okay here it is file upload here it is open the title of the window is changed so according to your need you have to change this file upload to open if you want to uh, work with chrome you have to change this title name from file upload to open okay better to create two folders and you can write a logic like if it is browse the browser type is chrome then execute this one if browser type is firefox execute this file kind of you can use your own logic to uh, upload the file using uh, uh, the different uh, exe files okay and that's all in this video thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to automation testing channel and please like at our facebook page